So I'm going to take a moment to show you how to do segmentation using thresholding in ITK Snap. So you've got your model loaded. And what you do is you can go to the segmentation tool. It looks like a snake or a money symbol. You can adjust the borders. However, in this case, I'm not going to. And you push segment 3D. You've got a few options. For our purposes, I'm just going to use the thresholding tool right at the top. And I can use these slide bars to adjust the properties. The blue window below is where you actually see the threshold in action. And by sliding these one way or the other, I can get an adjustment to the values that are visible. Now I'm going to keep this pretty simple. I'm just going to go for the head, for part of the head, in fact, on this um, symbol model that we have. Once I've done that, I'm going to hit push the next button. And I can then go ahead and in any of the windows where I've got the cursor selected and active, I can push the add bubble at cursor tool. I can adjust the size of it. Uh, typically, I'll leave the bubbles oversized. I'm going to scroll through and maybe get a few other spots. Come back the other way, get a few more, just to kind of get a better coverage of part of this guy's face. Once I feel like I've got things covered relatively well, I will go ahead and I will push the next button. Now once that's done calculating, I'll get the option to basically just push play. And what you'll see is that these red dots start to sh change shape and size. If I want to get a sense of how the model's changing visually overall in a 3D sense, I can push the update button and it'll give me a view right there. Now, depending on how complex the model is you're working with, the level of detail you're trying to do and so forth, this can take quite a while. So this is might be the time where you get a cup of coffee. In this particular case, I'm going to stop. I'm going to say that something along this lines is okay for our purposes. I will go ahead and I will stop that. And if I push the finish button, it will now have created the 3D model. All right. We will stop there and cover how to export this next.